Dame Edith Fakon have observed a female inmate with a year-old baby who had been granted bail but was still being kept in custody pending perfection of her bail papers and advised the Ministry of Women Affairs to take over custody of the child until the bail process is completed. She also noticed a pregnant inmate who said her pregnancy was as a result of rape and another who sang well and urged the male and female inmates to prepare themselves for the great exploits that God would do through them after they leave the correctional center. You need to be transformed, both in spirit and physical. Let the transformation be seen. Fulfillment in destiny is not about how many cars you have. It's not about how many houses you have built. You can be so rich and go to hell. St. Paul said, if in this world you are our hope, you have all men what? Almost missing. So, prepare for where you are going from here. Prepare. The fulfillment is that you fulfill destiny and you meet with the Lord. The Deputy Controller of Corrections, Albo Custodial Center, Donatus Ezugu Ugu, said Demokowa had been sensitive to the challenges of the less privileged in the society, especially through the quarterly distribution of drugs to the custodial centers to treat inmates. He appealed for vehicles solar power to ensure the security of the Abo Custodial Center, observation tower posts for effective surveillance of the center, skills acquisition projects for the training, rehabilitation, and reintegration of inmates. Her distribution of drugs to the custodial centers for both preventive and treatment of inmates is second to none in this entire state of the federation. In a message titled, The Unconditional Love and Mercy of God, Mrs. Ngozi Bama said many parents had failed in their assignment, hence the increased moral decadence in the society, and urged the inmates to think of how they could better their lives after their stay in the correctional center. Using John chapter 1 verse 12, John chapter 3 verse 16, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, Lamentations 3 verse 22, to illustrate her sermon, Mrs. Bama stated that God expresses his love for his children in different ways and whatever happened in the life of a Christian is for good. You are here for God to prepare you for the fulfillment of your destiny. If you live here without learning what the Lord has brought you here to learn, Without being born again, you're on your own. The Deputy Controller Nigeria Correctional Services Delta State Command, Ovia Friday Sezobo, thanked the governor's wife and her O5 team for their passion for the needy and congratulated the governor's wife on her birthday. The O5 initiative has initiated so many positive things in us. High point of the celebration was the cutting of the birthday cake, special presentations, and singing of birthday songs for Dame Kawa, led by the inmates. They were celebrated simultaneously in all the five states' custodial centers. Eunice Meyazia reporting.